The seamstress uses a needle and thread. A woodworker uses a saw and screws. But if you're working with metal, you're using a helmet and a welder. There are several types of welders. Stick, arc, MIG, TIG, each with their own benefits and each with their own tool sets. This is Reviewsy, and in this episode, we're looking at the best MIG welders. Hobart Handler 140. As you probably already know, while TIG welders are reserved for more advanced metal workers, MIG welders are highly recommended for beginners. They are easy to use and very intuitive. This model in particular is our top choice for beginners with a price that's about average for a welder. The quick select drive roll gives an easy time of changing wires and is extremely versatile. Perfect for welders who work on household repairs, auto body, farm projects, or any yard project. Note that this won't work on a standard household outlet. You'll need a 20 amp outlet like the ones typically installed in your kitchen. Hobart Handler 190. Now, if you're not a beginner, you'll probably find yourself wanting something a bit more professional with a bit more bang. This model is the big brother of the previous model. It's more powerful, but it also requires a stronger 230 volt current. It's also a bit more pricey, but that price is worth it. There's almost nothing that this model can't handle, and it's our top choice for best all-around value. Whether you're working on exhaust systems, auto body panels, trailer frames, sculptures, this can handle anything you'll come across. Lincoln Electric Handheld 120. There's something to be said about good old-fashioned self-efficiency. Especially for those of you living miles away from your closest neighbor, it's often less expensive and less time-consuming to just knuckle down and do the hard work yourself. This model is the best machine on our list for home use. It'll plug right into your household 120-volt outlet, but when you work on heavier materials, you might want to plug into a 20-amp outlet to avoid flipping your breakers. It costs a good chunk of change, but it will be something that lasts quite a while. It's incredibly easy to use and hassle-free, with a 30% duty cycle and a drive system to reduce wire crushing and tangles. Lotos MIG 175 Aluminum was once so rare that it was used by kings instead of platinum or gold to show off the wealth they had. Now, it's so cheap that we're making foil out of the stuff to put on mom's famous casserole. Aluminum also comes with its own considerations for welding. It's not that it's difficult to work with, it's just different. The main problem is that it's softer than steel, so feeding it might be unintuitive. This model is our top choice for working with aluminum. It's priced fairly and has all the features you might be looking for to ease your aluminum frustrations. However, it does weigh a whopping 85 pounds. Everlast Power 140E. Now, if you're so new to welding that you don't even consider yourself a beginner yet, you're gonna want something else, something cheap, Something that won't hurt your wallet too badly if you decide to abandon welding. That's exactly what this model provides. At 30 pounds, it's the lightest model on the list and also the cheapest. However, it's still of great quality and won't fall apart on you or needlessly frustrate you like the dirt cheap models. You'll get to experiment with more advanced welding techniques that other models in this lower price range simply don't see. And its 20% duty cycle outperforms the other welders at the lower end of the spectrum. There's no replacement for the right tool for the job. And your MIG welder will be invaluable to your shop or your home. Links are in the description, so give a click on the item that suited you best. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to ReviewZ for more great reviews.